Breaking news, Verizon service is having a meltdown. Do not make any changes to your Verizon service or try to activate a new phone. Verizon is terrible. This video is about several things I'm gonna go over very quickly. One of which, do not try to do anything with Verizon right now, okay? Verizon systems are totally down. Do not try to change your service especially. Do not try to activate a new phone. If you bought that new amazing S23, S23 Ultra, don't try to activate it right now. It, their systems are completely down. Um, and then Verizon in general, their customer service is horrible. If you, if you have Verizon like I do, we pay so much for Verizon so much more than everyone else and it's absolute garbage horrible their customer service is borderline abusive just horrific I'm gonna tell you a little story about me and I'm gonna we're gonna get into this and we'll start off the story by saying I just got the new s 23 Ultra. Now I ordered it pre-order and I have had it for like almost two weeks, but I've been so busy I haven't had a chance to activate it. So I just activated it uh, a couple days ago on Verizon and it was a living hell. I bought an unlocked one from Samsung. They said that it would work fine with Verizon. It doesn't, when you buy an unlocked phone and bring it to Verizon, um, from Samsung, buy it from Samsung, bring it to Verizon. It doesn't do some things like I, I like to video chat with my friends right from the call app. It doesn't do that, little did I know. However, Verizon, I, I activated it with an eSIM, and then the day after I activated it, I had so, so much trouble activating it. It was just, I had to call tech support so many times. I was abused, I was hung up on. I asked to talk to like supervisors. Terrible, terrible, terrible experiences. Then finally I talked to a good supervisor after about 10 calls and five hours, got it activated. After I got off of the phone with the supervisor, which was last night, that was February 28th, I called my dinner order in and then I called to change the order and my phone service was gone. It said that my brand new S23 Ultra could not be seen on the network and it was totally coming up with nothing. So now this is after hours. They had recently upgraded me to uh, the Verizon Mobile Protect for $17 a month, which said that I have 24 hour a day tech support. Not true. I was stuck all last night. I could not activate my old Note 20 Ultra because I tried to, I thought, okay, let me just activate my old phone. But you can't activate a phone without getting a text message. So if neither phone is getting any text messages, it's absolutely impossible to activate. I was stuck. And so I, and let, let me just tell you about my plan. I pay about $110 a month. I have the 5G More plan, which has everything. It's the most expensive plan you can get. It's got all this stuff. You know, mobile hotspot, this, that, the other, Disney package, blah, blah, blah. Plus, I have almost every add-on you can get. They put on the Verizon Mobile Protect, $17 a month, which is supposed to get you 24-hour-a-day tech support. But like I said, I got stuck, and that's not true. I get premium visual voicemail. I get everything. Okay, I pay a ton of money, almost $110 a month to Verizon. And just getting my phone activated was a living nightmare. The customer service was horrific getting my Note 23 or my S23 Ultra activated. And then I was making the call for dinner and the, the, the call, the service left and I was left without a phone. Then I woke up this morning and called tech support. It took an hour to reactivate my old Note 20 Ultra. And then I was just trying to like, there were some things that were changed. The system accidentally changed some things to my plan. So I called back and it took me about four hours of trying to get through, talking to terrible people. Then finally I got to a horrific supervisor, female supervisor named Juanita. She was so abusive and rude to me, I can't even tell you. It's insane how abusive and rude she was to me. And so I then I actually made an appointment at another person at Verizon. I called back after like, you know, 10 calls, getting hung up on five times, going on five, six hours of time, and they made an appointment for me at a Verizon store here in Los Angeles to get my phone reactivated, my new phone, my S23 Ultra, because now I'm using my Note 20 Ultra because of all this, this debacle of them being down. And I went down to the appointment and they're like, we don't have any technicians. Verizon doesn't have technicians in the stores. We're paying, if, we, if you're like me with Verizon, we're being stupid, we're paying a fortune. Okay, so here's this article, this thread on, on uh, Reddit from yesterday. It seems Verizon is experiencing issues with wireless 
plan changes today. Among other things, I changed plans for several devices this morning and lost service to those devices immediately six plus hours later. It has yet to be restored. The last agent from technical support I spoke with has stated the issue is widespread. They will never say that. They never told me anything like that. Okay, update, 24 hours later, still no service here, but lots of reports in the comments of people coming back up finally after a reboot. We're getting close, folks, hang in there, not me. Update two, as of 10.30 a.m., still no service, multiple reports of two primary vehicles for getting back online. One, power cycle the phone, that didn't work for me, or send an eSIM activation request to the phone from my Verizon. Neither have worked for me thus far. Yeah, it can't because you can't activate your phone without access to your phone with a text message. Followed up with Verizon at 10.15, agent indicated things were still moving on a slow manual case-by-case -case basis. Did offer credit back for the outage, escalated my ticket. I didn't get any of that. They didn't tell me anything, they didn't help anything. And mine, mine is more updated than this. Update number three, nearing 36 hours without service, Verizon has started avoiding providing any further direct access on my ticket and refuses to provide an updated ETA. At this point, I am actively looking at other providers. Yes, they all have their issues, blah, blah, blah. Good idea, because we pay so much more at Verizon and the abuse that I went withstood, I've, I can't even describe it to you. It was a huge amount of abuse at all levels from normal customer representatives and then a supervisor too, as I mentioned. Yes, as a rep, we are experiencing widespread activation issues. I wouldn't do any changes at all today. It's supposed to clear up by the end of the day. It was supposed to be three hours. I just got back from the Verizon store in Los Angeles from an hour ago. Right now it's March 1st, 4.48 East, uh, Pacific time. And they told me that it's still not up and they have no clue when it be, will be, probably not even by tomorrow. Uh, as for those who are experiencing issues, the time set for them to clear up is 24 hours as of now. Kind of lame, I know. Not just activation issues, it's a change to the account that goes for plan changes, any kind of change to the account at all. Honestly, it's hellfire for tier two, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, oh, oh, honestly, it's hellfire for tier two right, tech right now. We really can't do anything we'd say, wait, oh, I feel so sorry for you. Yeah, I'm the one who pays you a fortune every month. Same for anyone in back channel support too. It was a horrific day, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so these are, I'm gonna sort from best to uh, new, the latest, to see if there's anything other here. I'll get this edited seven minutes ago, edit. Going to small claims tomorrow evening if I can't even access my banking or school email. 2F, 2FA is inaccessible because some kind of Kirkland signature D get what? I don't even know what this guy's talking about. <laughs> Been stuck in this same problem since 9.30 a.m. Pacific today. Was stuck at SOS for a while. Been able to get service bars again after resetting network settings, but have been stuck at un unable to make a phone call message when dialing and no data or anything else working. I made the dreaded mistake of dropping international calling for my plan yesterday and I've been 24 hours with no service. It's unbelievable. The agent I spoke with earlier today said their system would be back up by 8 p.m. No mention of a time zone. They also had me delete my eSIM, so I doubt I'll be back tonight. The fact that they're not even announcing this to their customers is ridiculous. If my service is not back by tomorrow, I'm leaving Verizon. I've been working in customer service for almost a decade. Never have I seen anything like this. Goes to show what happens when company, the company focuses on cutting costs. Yippee, four hours ago. Same thing happened to me. I initiated a plan change yesterday that was future dated for the beginning of a new cycle, which was today, March 1st. Usually a plan would change at midnight, but today, so starting sometime shortly after 7 a.m., we started losing service. Most of the six lines were losing service and not working as before. What's frustrating is it took talking to three representatives to finally have a clear explanation of what was going on. And this is interesting because I didn't get an explanation. The second representative from tier two said he could fix the issue and call me back in an hour, but never did. That happened to me too, several times. The third representative explained everything clearly that it was a system-wide issue. On top of that, the area where I live also has a service outage, service outage that's being fixed. So both issues happened at the same time. All in all, I'm not too happy with the level of customer service. That's an understatement. Okay, so this goes on and on, okay? Please, everybody, leave these things in the, in the comments. We need to hold them accountable. We pay a fortune for this Verizon service. You know, like you saw what I have. I pay a lot of money for this plan. It's very expensive, $110 a month. You know, Spectrum offered me the same plan for like $15 a month. So please follow and subscribe if you want more tech, up-to-date tech information, tech news. And of course, Billy Luna, I also tell a lot of gangster stories if you're into any kind of true crime stories or anything like that. We're into a lot of different things here though. Tech, 
true crime, history, art, a lot of stuff. But if you please, if you've experienced these, these terrible, terrible issues, leave comments. Please leave comments about them. And please like and subscribe. Do me that solid. It's Billy Luna Tech. This is Victoria Luna. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like the videos, and share with your mates on social media. Check out these awesome videos now. Ciao.